afternoon. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry. And uh, have y'all ever had, those of you that have garden, ever had peppers, especially banana peppers? And it's more than what you can eat and more than what you can give away. Well, Roy brought these in today. And we had some uh, Fat Friday, I think. And uh, I had more than this of the banana peppers. And these are my little sweet peppers that we also grow in the garden. And so Friday, I pickled some and put them in the refrigerator. And when my daughter, Jenny, came uh, yesterday, I let her taste of them. And she took the jar home. <laughs> she loved them so good. So now I only pickle like one jar at the time and i keep them in my refrigerator i'm not water bathing these i'm not canning these i just do like a jar at the time put them in my refrigerator within a week we have them eaten by that time i'm saying peppers now in the ones i did friday i did not put onions in them but i am going to put onions in them and the ones i did friday i only did banana peppers i'm doing some sweet peppers today so I just cut my cut the little top off my banana pepper. And this one's got a little bad place, so I'll just cut it out. And then I just take it and cut it in like a uh, 16, maybe an 8 inch slices. And I just cut them round like this. You don't have to take the seeds out. I just like to take the seeds out. Now, I'm going to bring you around and show you how I'm going to make my syrup. I call it syrup that goes over my, uh, it's the vinegar that goes over your banana peppers. Okay. Now, this is just my recipe. I'm doing it different today than what I did uh, Sat Friday when I made them. So, you can make your vinegar especially when you're going to keep it in the refrigerator any way that you want to. So uh, I'm going to do mine in a quart, and it's a quart that I saved that uh, spaghetti sauce came in, and I didn't even bother to try to get the label off since they're just going in the refrigerator. So to this, so I'm going to put two cups of vinegar, And two cups of water. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. Let me get my two cups of water. Okay, now this I'm gonna have some vinegar left over, but that's okay because uh, in a few days when I make more, or the first of next week when I make more, I'll keep this vinegar in the refrigerator and I won't have to make more. So I'm making four cups today. And to this, I want a taste of this to make sure the vinegar is strong enough. Mm. <laughs> it's plenty strong. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> to this, I'm going to add garlic. That's two teaspoons of minced garlic. I'm going to add a fourth cup of, uh, I mean, a fourth teaspoon of turmeric. And all that does is just turn it kind of yellow. It makes it really pretty. Plus, it gives it a little bit of a different flavor. Plus, turmeric's real good for you. All right. This is mustard seed. Just plain mustard seed. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of that. Now, this is whole cloves. Now, Roy and I, you leave these out if you don't want them in there. Roy and I absolutely love cloves. And it just gives it, just uh, puts it over the top a little bit. Now, caraway seeds. You won't find this in uh, recipes that you find online. But I put some in, I'm putting four, a half a teaspoon. 
I put some in that I made a uh, Friday and we loved it. And this is tarragon. And I'm going to put a fourth teaspoon of tarragon in there. Okay. Uh, I think that may be everything. I forgot to get my stevia out. I make my, I put stevia in mine. That's a fourth of a cup. And a fourth of a cup. I'm just going to let this come to a boil. I'm going to let it, uh, after it comes up to a boil, I'm going to turn it down for about five or ten minutes and just let all those uh, spices just release their flavor. I'm going to taste of it. Mmm, that's good. I'm going to tell you what else I do sometimes. This is pickle juice that I had left where I made my stevia pickles the other day. Sometimes I put some of this in there. It's already got the spices in it. Uh, and we like it. So sometimes I put this. I uh, Pickle pears. Pop, Peter pop a, pick, a peck of pickled peppers. So, <laughs> uh, my pear pickles. I, sometimes I'll put some of that vinegar in there. And it's just, I make it different. Every time I do a jar, usually I'll make it different because we like variety. So, but uh, I'm going to put more stevia because that's not quite sweet enough. That's a whole cup of stevia. Now, if you don't like the sweetness, you leave it out. Don't put it in there. But I would put a little. I would put at least a fourth of a cup. But we like ours on the sweet side. And all pickled peppers, banana peppers, call for a little sugar. So, it's about to come up to a boil. Now then, that's perfect. I'm going to put a few more cloves in it. Okay. It's going to about to come up to a boil, and I'll let it cook about five minutes. All right. I cut... The end off my peppers like this. And I just take a little sharp knife and I get that seed out. You don't have to. You don't have to get the seed out. And I bump it to make sure all those seeds will come out. Then I'll just cut it in rounds. Like this. I need to sharpen my knife. I think I'm cutting in like maybe an eighth of an inch, little rounds. All right, and I'll just put them down in my jar. Okay, I've got some orange down in the bottom. So this is a sweet pepper that we got out of the garden. Now, I like all these peppers came out of my garden. When you do it like that, cut around it. Your seed just comes out whole. Now, I'm not going to leave these in rounds. I may. Let me see how it looks. Yeah, I am. I'm going to leave these in rounds too. The ones in the bottom, if they're bigger, I will probably cut them in strips. But, And I'll cut that little end off like that. Just put them down in my jar. Let me do a red one so you can see how they're going to look in the jar. Of course, I'll show it to you when I get through. But this is just a little something that I was going to do this afternoon. I said, you know, I said, you know what? I'll just bring them along with me and show them how I do it. Now, this one is bigger, so I'm going to cut it 
uh, in half, in half, cut it in half. I'll put that down in there and get all these white membranes out. This one has more than uh, than the little yellow orange ones did. Okay. I've got another red one in the refrigerator. I'm going to take it out so I'll have a good bit of red in there. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut this like that. And then I'm going to just cut it in pieces about like that, about like so. And I'm going to put that down in my jar. Okay. And if you leave some, a few seeds, that'll be fine. It doesn't matter. But I want it in big enough pieces to where you can just pick it up with a fork. All right. I'm going to keep cutting my peppers. And when I start to put it in my jar, I'll be back. Okay. I've got my peppers cut up. And my onions. And got them in my jar. Look how pretty that is. My uh, vinegar has been, and my spices have been boiling for about five minutes. Now, I don't want all these spices. If you want spices in your jar, that's fine. And I am going to dip some, but I don't want all these spices in there. So I'm going to go down like that with my ladle. So that some of the spices, now I do want some of the cloves. But I'll put those in separately. This is strong coming up. Because I think some of the spices are really pretty in it. Okay. Especially the mustard seed and some of those seeds. All right. And I'm going to put it up to the top with my vinegar. I had a little strainer out here, but uh, there's enough vinegar here that I can just skim off the top and I won't have to use this. Okay. Now I've got my lid. I want to uh, kind of, you call this debubbling, debubbling when you're canning. But I'm just trying to get some of those spices down in the all throughout the peppers. And when you do this, your peppers are going to come to the top. And you just press them back down because you want all of your peppers and onions in that brine. Some people call it brine. And I guess it is brine. All right, I'm going to put my lid on it. I'm going to screw it down good. I'm going to let it cool. And then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. And Roy and I, after a day, it's ready to eat. Isn't that pretty? See some of your cloves and some of your spices. You can see them floating throughout. And you want that because it makes for a really, really pretty jar. Tastes like dessert. Tastes like dessert. That's right. We love it. And I've got enough uh, brine here or syrup or juice, vinegar, whatever you want to call it, for probably two more jars. And that's the way I like to make. I like to make enough when I'm making that I can just keep it in the refrigerator. Then when I get ready to do another jar, I just heat this up, pour it over my peppers, then put it in the refrigerator. So if you've never thought about doing this you may have two bell peppers two red peppers a few banana peppers and you don't have to do it in a quart you can do it in a, a half pint you can do it in a pint ever what uh suits your family but i'm telling you this is really really it's a real good. accent to your meal now it's not your traditional it's not recipes that you will go online and find because all these are my spices that Roy and I love. And by the way, I did pour a little bit of my pickle juice in here. This is some pear pickle juice and some cucumber pickle juice that I poured in here. I keep a jar under my bed. 
Roy said he keeps the jar under his bed. Oh, it's good. So now I've got my brine for my next jar after we eat these. And I'll leave these in the refrigerator the rest of today and probably tomorrow. And then we'll start eating them uh, Wednesday. And that gives all your uh, spices time to absorb into your pickles. And it gives your uh, vinegar and time to make pickle, to make it a pickle. So thank y'all for joining me this afternoon. I thought y'all might enjoy just watching me do this and uh, see how we how I go about doing things. So I'm not your tr traditional uh, cook. I'm not your, I don't do things traditionally a lot of times. I do it to our taste and the way we like it. And I, every time I do it, now, if I'm canning tomatoes, like I canned some tomatoes this morning, yes, I do. But things like this that you can be versatile or you can just, ever how you want it to taste, you can just make it that way, I do. So, thank you for joining me. Hit that share this video. Hit that little subscribe button. And if you don't have these spices, Put the spices in it that you like. If you don't want it sweet, cut back on the stevia or sugar. Now, I use, I use stevia, but you can use sugar. Cut back on it. And we just happen to like sweet. And so, uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. Healthy. You talk about healthy. Now, this is healthy. And, oh, get you some peas or some butter beans or some dried pintos or... Uh, some of those big, fat, dried butter beans. Mm -mm. Now, this is really, really, and a fresh tomato. Mm. This is really good with that. So, food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Put deliciousness back in healthy food. Love y'all. See you next time.